Good morning, it's almost 8 a.m. and we are going to tour the Animal Kingdom. Disney guests that are staying on property get to enter the park 30 minutes early, but for the rest of us, we must wait till 8 a.m. Wait for it, wait for it, and off we go. It is 8 a.m. Huge rope dropping tip for Animal Kingdom. Everyone is heading over to Flight of Passage. So we always make our way to Expedition Everest and then over to the Harambee Wildlife Reserve to ride the Kilimanjaro Safaris. An amazing shortcut through Dinoland USA is just cross the bridge and take your first left. You will go behind the dinosaur and you will make your way over to Mount Everest. Everything on this side of the park is a walk-on. So now it's time to get on Expedition Everest and pay the Yeti a visit. Expedition Everest was a walk-on and the Kilimanjaro Safaris is only 40 minutes. Since you can't see all the wonderful animals on one safari, I decided to take you guys on two. Hello, Sante Sana Wardwell, as we say here in Harambe, two and day, that means let's go. This bird over here on the left is called the Saddle Build Stork. They will sink to the bottom and just walk across it. 
On the left, we have the black rhino. He's about 3,000 pounds. Now they have some other adaptations that make them better suited to mountainous environments than other species of zebra. Their hooves are a bit more narrow, able to navigate the rocky terrain. Uh, their heart actually weighs three times as much as that of the plains zebra. That helps them with the extra red blood cells needed for... Because of their messy pattern, they'll normally grow to be about 20 feet tall. They spend about 18 hours of the day eating. They only sleep about 30 minutes. And when they do sleep, they will sleep standing up to avoid predators. A giraffe's heart is about 25 pounds, two feet across. But elephants tend to use that as a form of sunscreen. Rhinos will do that as well. It helps them cool down. Another way that they will cool down is by flapping those big ears back and forth like he's demonstrating for us right now. He actually celebrated his 40th birthday this year. Elephant pregnancy is about two years. When first born, a baby elephant is about 200 pounds. Do you have a baby elephant that is out here on the reserve? She celebrated her sixth birthday earlier this year. It was on January 4th. Now, in comparison, a fully grown adult elephant can be anywhere between 9,000 to 13,000 pounds. Normally, the average lifespan of an elephant is around 80 years. Really cool that we are able to see the baby and her mom right back there. Up ahead of us are the greater flamingo. They get that bright pink color from the brine shrimp that they eat. It takes about a year to get that color. When they are first hatched, they are actually gray. They'll normally stand at about five feet tall. They will hang out in groups of up to 30,000. Also, is it just me or does that island that they're standing on kind of look like a giant Mickey? And a group of flamingos is called a flamboyance. Now a group of rhinos is called a crash. Normally a rhino pregnancy is anywhere between 16 to 18 months. When a baby rhino is first born, they will weigh anywhere between 88 to 140 pounds. Normally those lions don't start waking up until around sundown. Now the Lion King debuted about 25 years ago. Back then the lion population was at about 200,000. Currently, due to poaching, it has actually declined down to about 20,000. And a group of lions is called a pride. As the name implies, that's where you may encounter some western lowland gorillas. Here in Harambe, we don't really like to say goodbye. Instead, we prefer the Swahili phrase, Kwangarini Kami. Time to journey through Pandora for our 1 p.m. Flight of Passage Lightning Lane. Such beautiful blue sky today. The Navi River Journey, it is on an 80 minute wait. 
And now what we've all been waiting for, time to get on the flight of passage. head into our Rainforest Cafe 2 p.m. reservation. Coming into the back entrance from the Animal Kingdom exit is such an experience. I highly recommend it. It's a great place to wait for your name to be called for your table to be ready. It took about 20 minutes to get to my seat and another 20 minutes to get my food. I ordered the Creole mac and cheese and it was so delicious. This dish has shrimp and dewy sausage peppers, red onion, cheese sauce, chili, 
butter bread comes and penne pasta. This dish is very spicy. It was served very hot. Thankfully, my server kept my drinks full the entire duration of my dinner. I think if you go to the Animal Kingdom and you are really hungry and you want a nice sit-down meal and some really good air conditioning, very quality service, I would highly recommend the Rainforest Cafe right outside the Animal Kingdom entrance. I'm starting to get full, so it's time to get a to-go box and go ahead and get home. It's starting to get really hot outside. And of course, I will not say goodbye. I will see, see you later until the next adventure.